Um, I've got my old uh, box layout here and uh, I tried making a modification to it and uh, the STL file wouldn't export properly so I'm just redrawing everything and uh, you know what they say practice makes perfect so um, every time I do this process I get I think I get better at it as it's quite quite satisfying to feel like I'm developing some degree of competence using the software um, what I've got set up here is my camera camera views so on view toolbars I've got views set up there and um, it'll give you your ISO view uh, top view, front view, sides uh, it doesn't have a tab here for bottom view which is a bit inconvenient um, but I do need the bottom view uh, for some details I'm putting in at the moment um, and the beauty here is you can just okay so at the moment what I'm doing is I'll just pull this up over here um, I'm putting in these uh, columns or support pillars in the corners now to do that first I've got to put some grid lines and I really should grid line as much as possible it's a really great way to uh, prepare your drawing so your grid line you've got to be really careful with your grid lines um, so for example here I'm doing on edge I know this is going to be 10 mil now if I go off off uh, straight off axis you don't know what you're measuring to you've got to make sure that you've got to look at the way that color is highlighted and make sure that it's you know in within the axis direction so here it's green now if you go in any other direction then you don't really know what you're doing a grid line off so there's my grid line there um, the other thing is there's a little bit of problem is it's measuring from the top the top line so where I went to bottom view okay where I, that line is actually the line at the top I really want to what I want to do is I want to measure to, at the line at the bottom so I have to sort of change the view angle a bit to do that um, so go back to tape measure and 10 mil and now I know it's on the bottom Try that again. There we go. So I put it, probably put in a couple of grid lines in the wrong location, but anyway. Um, now I'll just draw a little box. Let's try to experiment. If I draw a pencil line there, now see if I can extrude that up. So let's go back to my other drawing. Check what dimension that is. Twelve point five millimeters. So I'll just show you there, that's 12.5 millimeters. So there, that's fine. See, by just marking that off, it's allowed me to extrude that out. And I'll just go to view wireframe. And then I can uh, dimension that one. Now what I'll do, just as a little check, just drop that out there, is, oh, that's quite nice there, that looks nice to me. Now I'm just going to double check that that's actually come through okay. So I just go view, face style, and edit, select all, tools, export the to STL. 
a good idea to keep checking these things because SketchUp can just somehow you can do something wrong and not know what you've done wrong and then SketchUp will refuse the build like this previous example here this is why I'm redoing this drawing it's missing out on a total layer there uh, like a center layer from the in, in here this gray section is that's a missing part of the model so just try this one So it looks like that, but don't don't be fooled by that view. It looks nice. Don't be fooled. You've got to. I always orientate that surface down, process it, and let's see what happens. I hope this works. Okay, so I've I've just right clicked view top view and start at the bottom and step up. You have to step through each layer to make sure it's come through perfectly. There you go. So that's showing that that column support has come through very nicely. So that's really, really good. That's that's really perfect. Um, you got to check for these things all the time. Save. Okay, camera, so I'll just carry on. Uh, zoom up, reorientate around, pull it back. Now, when you get too many guidelines, you just delete them all and um, continue on. So what I need to do just over here, just to make my life a bit easier, is I'll drop in a guideline here. So and another one. So what before I used to do uh, the rectangles, but I think sometimes that rectangle would drop in an extra layer which confused everything. Um, that was probably my mistake. Uh, whereas if you actually just use the pencil line to mark out that line, and then extrusion, it actually picks out that as a separate layer. It's quite smart. Now it's not locking in there, but that's fine. 12.5. So now that's that's really really good. All right, I'll just stop the video there.